Hi, my name is Farhan and I'm here with another discussion video as to whether likability should matter when judging character. My answer is kinda yes, but I lean more so towards no. But let's first establish why people value likability so much. Stars, regardless of whatever medium, whether it be anime, manga, comic books, movies, video games, TV series, cartoons, it's all entertainment and whatever story they will tell, it's going to revolve around whoever our main protagonists and cast are going to be. So having the likability and charisma will allow the characters to become more enjoyable for the audience given that it's entertainment which in turn will make us care for the characters and help us get invested in their stories. And it's important that you have characters and story worth being invested in for the audience. Another factor I think that can be associated with likability would be the morality and ideology involved with the character. Typically we would be rooting for the morally right character but if there are multiple characters on the morally right side then that's where different ideologies come in. And people will lean more towards a character that is closest to their own ideology, which is prevalent with the dichotomy between heroes and anti-heroes in regards to the debate of whether bad guys should be killed or not for the crimes they do. Even with characters that have rather questionable morality and ideology, the charisma they possess can be enough to win people over to their side. The series that comes to mind would be Death Note, and while the series does paint Light Yagami on the morally wrong side, while L and by extension near to be on the morally right side, the series leaves it up to the audience as to who they will root for and there are many that support Light ideology. So I can understand why people value likability and there are characters I enjoy that are very likable. However, with that being said, I still lean more towards no because I think from a more objective and writing standpoint, characterization and character development are the most important for a character, as those aspects help flesh out a character and offer depth to them which in turn can add to the investment. I've seen many people say a character or series is bad because the character was unlikable. <coughs> to me, saying that a character is bad just because they're unlikable is the equivalent of saying, "Wham, this character is such a meanie. I remember watching Linkara's review of the Rise of Arsenal comic and he criticizes Arsenal for being unlikable because of how he acts in the comic. Yeah, acknowledges that it's rather realistic for him to act that way considering what he's been through. It says it doesn't matter because it's fictional and he needs to be more likable to feel more pity for him. It's like, what? You just admitted that it's realistic for him to act like this yet criticize him for being a dick as if it's bad writing. It's a rather superficial criticism to me because it's not necessarily taking into consideration the writing of said character. Like, is it consistent with their characterization? Is it out of character? Does the context justify it? Etc. I honestly question half the time whether people take these things into consideration. Just because a character is unlikable that doesn't necessarily make them a bad character. Even vice versa, a good person does not equal a good character. Characterization and development is what truly matters for a character. Again, I can understand why people value likability for a character as it adds to the entertainment factor. And like I said before, there are many characters that I like, even my favorites are very likable. However, I can also appreciate their characterization and development. Because even then, entertainment is very subjective. A character can be very likable, but you'll still find people that hate them. Take Superman for example. Now granted, it's usually based on misconceptions, but he's a very likable character that gets quite a lot of Hate. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that you cannot dislike an unlikable character, you're entitled to your opinions of course. And I'm not gonna lie, there have been characters that I've disliked due to how unlikable they were. A couple examples that come to my mind is Light Yagami from Death Note. I remember upon my first time watching that I really disliked Light, and while I acknowledge that he had solid characterization and development, I still disliked him nonetheless. Although that isn't the case anymore, especially upon my rewatch of the series, I came to really appreciate the character and liked him overall. Another character I also disliked was, that was unlikable was Naoko Uno from A Silent Voice, especially with how she treated Shoko and Ishimiya after her suicide attempt. Seriously fuck the bitch. But in all seriousness, just because I consider her unlikable, that doesn't mean I consider her a bad character. She still has her development in the series. Just because a character has questionable morals or does some questionable things, that doesn't necessarily make them bad from a writing standpoint. It's good to have the variety as it can lead into some interesting characterization and help give them some ethical complexity. Take for example in Dragon Ball in the Boo Saga when Goku, Majin, Vegeta, Gohan and Supreme Kai were in the tournament due to Bob D teleporting them there. When Supreme Kai got in the way and tried to prevent Goku from fighting Vegeta, Goku actually considered killing Supreme Kai if he didn't get out of the way. And this was no bluff either since Supreme Kai can read minds. It's a questionable decision considering that in the context of the Dragon Ball world, Supreme Kai is in quite a high and important position, so Goku killing him off would definitely be a big deal, especially since it could have killed Beerus. Or if you take a character like Amanda Waller from DC Comics, while she's on the side of good, she also makes some questionable decisions that you may not agree with for the greater good. Similar case with Nick Fury from Marvel Comics or even Cecil Sedman from the comic series Invincible by Image. I think it can make for some interesting dynamics and add layers to a story. I forgot to mention this earlier but an example of a great character that's unlikable would be Joe Yabuki from the boxing classic Ashita no Joe. And yes he does suddenly become more humble throughout the series but he wasn't the most likable protagonist, especially earlier on and I have seen a few people dropping the series towards the beginning due to how unlikable Joe was. Again I think it's a shallow criticism because it's kind of the point as that was the way he was characterized to be and it doesn't necessarily make him bad from a writing standpoint, which doesn't really take into consideration his development and journey throughout the series. 
So that's my overall thoughts on it. I don't consider likability to be that much of a necessity as I definitely think there's more to judging a character than just their likability. However, I don't think this is something that can be given one definitive answer. It's a very open discussion. So tell me, how much do you value likability when judging a character? Do you agree or disagree with me? Is there any points I miss? Let me know in the comments section below. Links to my Google Plus and Twitter will be in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.